been a little time go by since that last video. It wasn't intentional, but we've been out to the Oklahoma Panhandle for dental work. Both of us saw the dentist. Don had more work to do be done than I did. And I had uh, tried to do this video and it didn't go through, so get another try here on uh, Thursday of a new week. So I skip a few years. We left uh, Hartner at the end of that year after the incident with the school carnival. Went to uh, Elkhart, was there three years, and then got invited down to Phillips University as Director of Teacher Education. And uh, I think it was during that first year there, I had my second visit by the FBI. While I was at Elkhart, the FBI had come by one day, so I'd been oriented to this procedure already. When the FBI comes in, even though they're just checking on something, at least in the experience, the two experiences I had with them, two of them come in. And when the two came in at Elkhart, they were checking on a student, graduate of Elkhart High, that I knew nothing about. And I had to refer to Kenneth Fowler, who was at that time teaching in the building where I was both superintendent and principal. And... Uh, a little joke, being ornery. I had, uh, as Kenneth came into the office, I told him, hey, these two are from the FBI, and boy, when they come in to me, they flash those badges so that you know who they are, that they are official. So they're flashing their badges at him as I'm joking with him and saying, these gentlemen are from the FBI, and something about some Navy blankets. I'm not sure, but I think Kenneth did a double take. And of course, they assured him, no, 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 no. This has to do with when they named their student. So anyway, the same procedure. They came in at Phillips University. Uh, I'm sure it was the first year I was there because I was officed in the old uh, government building, the old temporary, moved in off of an army base somewhere. And they identified themselves, and I'm wondering, what the heck, who the heck, why are they going to be checking on this time? So after the introductions, they said... Do you know, and they said, a name? I said, no, that's not a name I'm familiar with. Well, they said, uh, perhaps you knew this young lady by her maiden name, and they gave the name of the young lady who had yeah. borne the penalty of no senior trip back at Hartner, Kansas. I said, oh yes, I know that name well. Well, they said, before we go into it any further, we want to give you a little bit of background. This young woman has gone to school, done very well. She's married, I believe they said a minister. They certainly said somebody of solid reputation. And... Uh, She's been working for the government, and she has the second highest intelligence, security, clearance that you can have, and she's now up for a job that requires the top clearance. And the only mark against her goes back to that incident in her senior year as a high school student. Well, I'm telling you, I was proud of her, surprised and proud. I mean, you don't get a clearance in the United States security lightly. So the bottom line was, they said, in view of what we have told you, and if you, you know, I explained to them what had happened, and they said, that's what she said, it's all matter of record. But in view of what we have said about her, do you have any reservations whatsoever about us giving her a top clearance? I said, gentlemen, not only no hesitation, I'm proud of her, and I'm so glad for her. And I think she learned an awful lot as a senior in high school. 
And I hope that was true. I, I hope that what happened back there in Hartner had something to do with that young woman having a brilliant career. Never, I've never Googled her name. I don't remember what the married name was. But a way to go, Miss. Proud of you. And I know your mom and dad have been proud of you. And your children are proud of you. Three cheers for you. Three cheers for Hartner.